loud. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Thursday morning business training. Uh, Gregory and Robin up here in Bozeman. Crystal clear blue skies in Bozeman. Finally, the smoke has backed off a little bit, hopefully for a little while, hopefully for the rest of the year. But it was pretty smoky here for a long time. And I know some of you are dealing with that, especially our friends and family in Colorado and other places in Canada. Are you coming on? Fires are, are raging. Okay. So uh, today, uh, you know, every Wednesday, as you know, we have a, a director's mastermind and we look forward to many or all of you ranking up to director and joining us on there. Uh, directors, senior executive and presidential and senior presidential directors, we're all directors. We gather together and uh, and brainstorm, mastermind, discuss current issues and opportunities. And uh, on the call yesterday, what came up is, you know, the timing factor uh, and the timing factor of the year here. And so, um, you know, as we're moving forward into August, September, October, we're on kind of a less than a 90 day run. Uh, you know, going into the conference, and then we've got the rest of October, November, December. This can be the best time ever to build your business if you plan and focus appropriately. And uh, Janet Kiefer, one of our senior presidential directors, brought up some cool ideas. And I see she got jumped off screen. She'll be back in a minute, probably. Uh, she's going to talk about that. And then Robin's going to address some Q&A on conference registration because the registration letters are going out clear for some, confusing for others. We don't have all the answers yet, but we'll, we'll get them. But we'll try and answer some. Gregory, I just muted you accidentally. Sorry, I was trying to admit someone. Okay, there we go. So now you don't have to read my lips. <laughs> You can hear me, <laughs> but uh, Janet, if you're ready, we'll turn this first part of the call over to you. And you'll have to unmute yourself too. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I feel like I'm skidding in here <laughs> that way. Uh, Sliding but into th third base or home run. Yeah, really, home we're doing base. that. Well, Good morning, and if you're listening to the recording, whatever time zone you're on, but we're all always glad that everybody joins in. Well, um, just a little side note, uh, looking ahead, we're just on August 1st here in 2024, and we've got a lot of people still running for the Punta Cana um, qualification a month from now on September 1st. So keep going, yay, keep getting those points, you can do it. Um, but what also, if you're new with LifeWave, if you're really excited about building your business, or even if you've been a manager or director or hire, what's coming by Q4 in the year, every year, is a whole lot of activity. And we don't want you to be blindsided. We'd like to educate you about um, what's coming, how to get prepared, how to work with your team how to leverage it, how to profit from it. So Gregory, I'm just gonna share my screen real quick. You guys, all I'm doing is bringing up a calendar so you can see it. Um, so let me move this up. Here we are at August 1st. Uh, yes, people are still on vacation, going on vacation. If you're in the States, uh, the first weekend of September is uh, Labor Day. So a lot of people are, you know, fitting in a last minute vacation, kids are getting back to school. There's really a lot that goes on in August that's not often thinking about LifeWay. But as Robin said yesterday, June was our biggest month so far this year, which in summer is not real common. So don't assume everyone's going to sleep. Okay, with that said, look in October, hopefully you can see this calendar, I couldn't get it any bigger. The conference in Dallas is um, people are arriving on the 17th of October. You've got the 18th and 19th for the conference. Now, if you are not able to get a ticket, please, please, please get a virtual ticket. If you've never been to our conference, it's big. It's a big deal. Announcements are going to happen. New products are coming. You need to be on that virtual broadcast. 
Yep, it's two days. Yep, get a whole bunch of your friends and your teammates, watch it together. But that's kind of our baseline date for a couple things. The build up to that in September, you want to keep your foot on the gas. You want to keep enrolling people for a number of reasons. David's going to launch at least one, if not two new products on in that conference. You want to be teed up with your brand partners and with your preferred customers that you're going to take that over to them. You're going to be the expert. You're going to know about it and be able to educate them and promote it. Often the company will do a launch and they'll have promos. You want to be able to use those coming forward. However, often if it's the same this year, the company launches another travel incentive trip coming from October and from the conference. However, if it was like last year for Cancun, they actually set the starting date at the first of the month but we didn't hear about it till conference. So there's a two week period in there that you probably can be qualifying if you pretty much know it's gonna come. So don't wait till the conference and get started the week of October 20th. Start thinking, let's start enrolling even more in October because the, con the trips tend to be based now on enrollments, okay? So October is a big month. You're going to come out of the conference just jam-packed, all kinds of new stuff. We've got a lot to take to the, the people we're enrolling and to our brand partners and customers. Because as you roll into November, it really ramps up. <laughs> so there's going to be promotions. However, what happens in November, at least in the U.S., we've got Thanksgiving. And as you know, there's Black Friday. And every company in the world pulls out the stops for Black Friday for sales. Well, LifeWave does too. So pretty much, if you can see that calendar, the 21st of November is the Thanksgiving holiday in the U.S. The, they will kick off Black Friday by the 22nd. It'll go through the weekend. Monday, they'll do a Cyber Monday sale. And pretty much, if it was like last year, it's going to go through Tuesday, the 26th of November. So if you're someone building your business, do not go on vacation. Do not check out over Thanksgiving. It's a huge time to lift your business. In November of 23, no, 22, that pushed me over to presidential director with a lot of Robin Gregory's help. Last year, in 23, the same thing happened, and I went into Black Friday being 25,000 points away from senior presidential director, and I was like, well, you know, we'll see how it goes. In two days, I crossed over and was senior presidential director. So if that's on your radar and you're declared the rank you want, this is a time you can rank up. But you got to be present, and you've got to have your team on board. Then we start going into the holiday season of December. There's a lot to do with people. Why not give our products as gifts? Our products heal people. Our products make life better. Our, our products reverse aging. So start thinking if there's some specials coming from October through November, you may want to buy extra stuff for holiday giving, right? So all through December, things are going on. Probably that trip qualification will be going on. So just see that pretty much the last quarter of this year is very busy. So knowing this, I was invited by my daughter to go spend Thanksgiving with her new husband and family, which was lovely. Until I looked at the calendar and went, I can't do it. I know what Black Friday is about. I know it's round the clock for me. Now, you may not choose to do that. You may want to do it lightly. I just want you to know what it can be. So Robin and Gregory, do you want to talk a little about Black Friday and what's possible? <laughs> um, well, there, it, the possibilities are endless. You know, that's what's so exciting because 
um, you know, we, we get, they have shared these wonderful opportunities and volume happens. And so once you get to a rank, you keep that rank. You may not be paid at that rank, but <clears throat> you get to keep that rank forever. And that's exciting. So uh, Janet, I just love that you're helping us think ahead, plan ahead, realize what's coming on the schedule. There's also some other important dates that are happening. Oh, you put me on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's morning in Montana. <laughs> It's morning. Yes, I look like morning. Um, you don't need to do that. Thank you. <laughs> um, so September 1st, as Janet said, is the Punta Cana deadline. September 15th is a deadline to rank up to be recognized at the conference. And yeah. so that's an important date for everybody that is going to the conference that wants to be recognized on stage and get your award to put in your hat right now, because now is the time you're working towards it. And then <clears throat> another important date that is truly a landmark for the company is the opening of the Welcome Center. They're actually doing a ribbon cutting in September uh, and it will be open for all of the brand partners to come visit and bring friends and prospects after the convention. And so you can plan ahead. Um, this will be. Uh, the ribbon cutting ceremony, by the way, is an RSVP invitation only. It's a, only a small group of SPDs and the corporate staff, maybe some the local mayor, the governor, who knows will be there. But it's a very limited. Uh, so don't don't plan on traveling there unless you got an RSVP because you won't be able to get in. <laughs> well, it's yeah. And that's why I'm saying it's available for everyone after, after the, the conference. conference right and so you can be planning on that also excuse me i gotta clear my throat you want to mute for a second so that is also what's going on so like janet said there's a lot happening and to be thinking now ahead of time so we yeah. can so you can plan what's gonna fit around your life and your schedule is really really important so i just I love that Janet is strategic and a planner because it's not my nature to be looking. I mean, she's got, we're going to uh, Italy and on the cruise together and she's planning everything for all of us. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. <laughs> so what else did you want me to share? <clears throat> well, if anybody has any questions, just know if this is your first year, the last quarter is really big. It's really exciting. People are going to feel your excitement. It may get a little chaotic. Don't worry. It'll all work out. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, but just know that through the holidays is a great time to build your business. It may be not the time when you can check out and take three weeks off. So mm -hmm. thank you. And it's also, <laughs> you know, you mentioned new products. Well, we have a new technology and a new platform that's going to affect everything. Yeah. And the nutritional product will be launched for those in the U.S. So this is a time to really look at your personally sponsored team, whether they're active or inactive, and, and start preparing to communicate because we're, you're going to have a lot of great news to share. And I have heard that this new platform technology could be as big, if not bigger, than X39. And X39 grew us 20-fold in the last five years. And from those who were in Orlando, Meredith said, we're on track for a 30-fold growth. So um, everyone's in the right place at the right time. And planning ahead will make a huge difference for you and your business. And Robin, if I could tag on to that, you know, we've got this new annual fee coming for brand partners based on their anniversary date starting mm -hmm. in September. Well, that's a great time through the fall. You'll have all this new news. So as you're talking to your people that are re renewing in October and November and December, you can be excited. Look at all this great stuff that's coming. You know, you'll have access to it. So another wonderful bit of news to bring to people. Thank you. Yeah, there's so, and what we have learned from Gregory is retention comes from relationship, connection, and education. And we have a lot of things to connect with people about 
to educate them about and update them about. So it's, you know, we're just sitting in the sweetest spot ever, ever. And we want everyone to realize where you are, no matter what's been going on in your business before, everything can change in these next few months. Yeah, it really can. I just wanted to add the concept of momentum. And there's three three things you need to know about momentum. Number one is how to create it. And how to create it is leveraging events, activities, and the timing factor. Number two, you need to learn how to sustain it. That means you keep your eye on the ball. You don't let off the gas. You don't, because you start losing momentum. And number, number three, how to advance it. So, you know, that's the goal and intention we hold for all of you, that your business gets into momentum, stays in momentum, and advances momentum. And the things that Jen is talking about, the timing factors, is looking ahead and, and planning. This is a business, and you should have a business plan, <laughs> and, and like you should have a life plan. And adding to the momentum piece, there is personal momentum. If mm -hmm. you've got the juju going on in your business, <laughs> you keep going. Then there's your team momentum. Well said. Because that is another energy that feeds everybody else. Uh, and we know that the company is in momentum. Mm. So we can ride on the energy from the company that will affect our team and our own momentum. So there's another, it's it's all about the juice, you guys. <laughs> so um, we have got the juice happening in this company. <laughs> and, and if you, you know, uh, tag on, you get to take the ride of your life. If I can add one more thing to both those comments, especially about sustaining People will work often for a free vacation, a free trip, even more than a paycheck. And we're going to be on this cruise. We're going to be posting pictures. We're going to be with David. And it's not so much that we want to brag or anything, but if you'll use the pictures that are going to get posted on Live Younger Facebook page, people want to see that this company rewards you. People want, they're like, wow, that can happen. Yeah, you got this. They're going to help you go on this trip to Punta Cana or over to Greece. People will work for that. It's out of their range. So use our pictures to say, hey, this is our company. Because a lot of those things got killed over COVID. People couldn't send people on trips. So leverage our, our postings for your benefit. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, and you know, I, I'm a photographer. I've been an amateur photographer for many, many, many decades. I have a whole following of people that watch my photos on Facebook and, you know, I got to post Punta, um, Punta Cup, Bora Bora photos and people go, if your company sent you there, I want to know more, <laughs> you know? And so, <laughs> and that's true for all of these trips and the Punta Cana trip is for everybody. And so it is, you know, you got to work for it and I'm still working for it. And um, if people want, we are in, like we've talked about many times, we're in the lifestyle business. And so like Janet says, share the pictures, you know, share your lifestyle. If you're not going on the trips, share the lifestyle that you've been able to have because of being involved, that you have freedom and can take time off in the middle of the day to do whatever. That's what people want more of. And they want community. So times that you get together with your team or the, you know, at the convention and stuff and how much fun you're having dancing, you know, people want more of that. Okay. So now where are we going, Janet? You're in charge. <laughs> I am. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> are we talking about the conference and, and enrollments? Okay. So as everybody knows, the company has switched to a new registration methodology or platform or platform, <laughs> whatever we want to call it. <laughs> and the, one of the, the main reasons is to make it really easy for people to transfer tickets. And so for those of you that have registered a few days ago, you should have received an email from the company. <laughs> and in that email, there was a QR code and I didn't read the details, um, but the QR code isn't to open up now it's to open up when you get to the conference in Dallas and they will be, uh, that QR code is going to make your name tag. Hmm. Yeah. 
So just know that that's what that's for. Uh, when it first came out, they only had PayPal as an option for those that were on the wait list to buy a ticket. <clears throat> um, and that has expanded into credit card. At first, the PayPal wasn't working. Now it's working. And now they have a credit card option. So um, I am really, really impressed and thrilled with this new director of events because I put a whole list together of an email and I got a response right away with all of this information. So that just know that you can pay for credit card. And those that want to transfer tickets, individuals that currently have tickets should be able to log in to an event and transfer their tickets using the following instructions. And I'll put that link in our Facebook group so everybody has that. And people in customer service and VIP are getting updates on the registration and questions so everyone will have all the information needed yeah so we don't have all the answers yet but this afternoon we have a call with garrett uh our our manager of of north america and uh we'll get more answers and on the monday night call and in the monday night newsletter we're going to be putting more information in there about securing your registration uh, transferring tickets if you want to, uh, virtual tickets, and what's the option for people who are on the waiting list to purchase tickets. So many of us have already purchased our ticket. And so we're just going to get that letter and QR code. Yes. Uh, but some people who are on the waiting list. They're going to be handled differently. And I don't ha know what's happening with them, if that notice has gone out to them or not. Yes. yes. Okay. And people, you know, on our uh, director's call yesterday, and. Moreau was saying that people clicked on the link, they got that were on the waiting list, they clicked on the link, they purchased their tickets, everything worked great. So those of you that are on the waiting list know that you can make that purchase now and we recommend sooner versus later. The word is that there's more people on the waiting list than there are tickets available. So uh, if you or anyone on your team's on the waiting list, buy your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> first come first serve i think yeah connie and, connie's got your hand up go ahead connie um i think they may be rolling it out in groups some people are oh, saying good. well i didn't get my email so it may be that they took the first group of so many hundred people okay. and roll it out you only have a limited time to get that if you do not purchase by the you know mm. limited time i think it's the it's like they give you 12 days or two weeks or something. I think it was two weeks. Once um, that, then they'll release more, right? Next, Those people will be out of luck. They'll release the next group. That's kind of what they had had planned. Oh, um, I also, yeah, I also wanted to validate Janet that, yeah, the year I went, I fourth quarter was when, um, Actually, for me, I think I'm both. I went presidential and then the next year SPD in January, but it was the momentum. It was the activities of the fourth quarter that pushed me over about a week after. <laughs> so exactly the same thing. If you're sitting there and, you know, I know the holidays are a special time. I know that family um, is really important, but you go back to your why. And what is the reason you're doing it? And is it worth going out of balance for a year, for two years to completely change your life and financial freedom? The people who, the only people who get to the third level, you know, when they talk about compensation, you know, you have your first part of network marketing where you feel like you're working harder than you're getting paid for. That's just being an entrepreneur. That happens for anybody starting any kind of business. You will put more time and money into something at the beginning of a new business than you will ever get out of it because you have the vision. You have the long term and the dream. By the time you get to the second level, you're all of a sudden, um, you know, your kind of time and money is catching up. It's getting exciting. It's getting fun. And then very few people make it to the third, which is you get paid more time, more residually then you'll are putting into it you've developed a team you've developed an organization you put the work in and now you get that back i mean we have that even in our one of you know our traditional businesses you know barry's traditional business 
he killed himself for a lot of years. He put a lot into it. And now he gets to travel all over the place, work very, very part time and make more than we've ever made from that business. So mm -hmm. think about it that way and go back to your why. Why are you here? What are you doing? If that is something that you value, walking across the stage, making the income that you know, with your business, having financial freedom, being able to travel, being able to do whatever it is you want to do. My goodness, ours things with simple things like, you know, flying, flying in first class, simple things like being able to take family and friends out to dinner whenever mm -hmm. we want. If we didn't, we didn't balk at the bill, right? Those are things that are bring joy in your life. So whatever it is for you, maybe it's worth going out of balance for a season or two and seeing if you can't completely change the trajectory. So it happened for us. It happened for Janet. And um, I'm sure many, 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 many others have done the same thing. So I just wanted to give that long <laughs> view of, of why you might make a consideration to change something. Connie, I get, it reminds me of a saying that an old dear friend of mine, one of the top yeah. networkers probably in the world, George Haber, some of you may know him, used to always say, and back then, you know, Diamond was the top of the plan. He'd say, go Diamond, clean up the mess later. <laughs> you know? So here, so go SPD, clean up the, the, you know, whatever your next rank is, you know, go senior president, senior director, clean up the mess later. But sometimes, as you said, you got to get out of balance to get to that point where you can get really in balance. Nine okay so, so we uh so we covered the jeff two... wants to say something yeah i just had a quick question um uh i tried to get into the conference and the, they like you're saying that the tickets were sold out but they didn't say anything about any waiting list does that mean they're not taking any more names for a wait list does anybody have any insight in that i thought possibly the wait list was still open and available and then the other question would be, how do we get the virtual tickets? As of last night, the uh, wait list is still open by clicking on the link that is in the um, team uh, page there. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Robin or uh, Gregory posted it. You can click on that and you still go there and get on the waiting list. Okay. Thank you. And then, and then uh, so I'll do both, but how do I, uh, how do I buy or I assume you have to buy a virtual ticket. Yeah, the virtual tickets haven't put, uh, been put on sale yet. And that's what we hope to find out this afternoon. And Okay, great. You know, we'll let everybody know next week. And, so. and then one more time, Jim, where do I go to get on the wait list? Robin? It, the link is in the newsletter. I just put it in the chat as well. Oh, it's you. also on the liveyoungersuccess.com. What's new tab? And you can go right down to the... Uh, convention. There's a link okay, right at the top of the page. Up right now, so I'll go in and do that. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jim. Any other questions on any stuff we covered here this morning? I, I want to add one more piece to that as far as registration. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, you can go to the events section in your back office, and the global conference is there also. Hmm. So that's that's a new addition. And it's great that that is there too. But for some reason, the software that we have didn't allow them to do it so many months in advance, but I think we're getting close here. So, and I'm just mm -hmm. clicking on it right now so you can go right to the registration. Okay, any other questions? Okay, see y'all. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, on Thursday morning, uh, we we hang around for another 20, 30 minutes just to have some general business Q&A. Uh, uh, and so if if anybody has any relevant or irrelevant questions about the business, relevant to what we talked about, or on another subject, we're totally open and here for you. Anything and if, if we got to go, I appreciate everyone joining us on Thursday mornings to spend this first 30 minutes together. Uh, we always make an attempt to make it worth your time and effort. And Eva Rose has got her hand up. So we'll call on you first, Eva. Hi, guys. Good um, 
So I've been contemplating this for a while and not getting, um, I need clarity. So regarding um, when you're signing up people and purchasing, like I sign up a lot of preferred customers if they're not planning on doing the business. And then when I'm, I'm listening to a lot of people that are, you know, have made it higher ranks and they they only talk about, and even on our, um, our form that you can, you fill out for when people are signing up, there's only options for packages. So my, con my confusion is not that everyone's signing people up um, for the packages, but now I'm like, well, if those people aren't planning on doing the business, like I have some clients who use the maintenance package because of the size of their family, but everyone just seems to be signing people up with the packages, but they're not doing the business. So aren't those people going to, going to be in the way for, for, um, for the 20% or the, um, catching bonuses. Are, are those people? Yeah. And then, and then with this new, um, $25 fee, and then we're like regulating people. Okay. Maybe they should go back down to preferred customer. Cause they're going to have to pay the $25 fee. I'm just, I, I, was... wonder, I wonder, Eva, I think I get what you're going. And Connie, I know this has been a uh, a fresh topic with you and your team and your leadership calls on when to point them to a silver pack as a brand partner, or when to enroll them as a customer. Would you mind addressing that for Eva? <laughs> I was hoping to hear what you guys were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike, don't they? <laughs> Um, Eva, we've been working on this for four years. Unfortunately, when the customer program was rolled out four years ago, um, the person who rolled it out did not think through that the compensation plan does not really match having a customer program. So the compensation plan for rank advancement, for binary cycling is really set up for only brand partners because in the beginning of the company, before the FTA, FTC said we needed a customer you know, ratio, it was you just signed up as a member. Everybody was a brand partner. We called them members. And so that's how the compensation's built. So you find that many teams, that is the only way they built. They don't even talk about the customer program because particularly for rank advancement, the upline, binary pay, matching bonuses, the only way that it really pays out according to comp plan is not doing customers. However, it's better for the company and many times for people to just be a customer. So we spearheaded that and really went down that road being told it would be changed. And unfortunately, with the momentum of the company, it has not. It is still on the table to possibly be able to get them to understand <laughs> that behavior change for early next year with some enhancements to the comp plan. But what I talk about, I have a combination of both. And a combination of both is a very stable business. Even if sometimes it hurts financially, when you duplicate that, it is a very stable business. Um, I, when I talk to my distributors, if they, if they come in as a distributor, if they want to build, if they want to create rank and build to the comp plan, then they sign up silvers and above. It's just a the way it works currently. Um, but I always tell people, if somebody says, I don't want to be a brand partner, I just want to be a customer. You know, the I think you honor that. But I also think the beautiful thing about the customer is they are required to be on auto ship. It is an absolute requirement. So they have a tendency to retain better from what I've experienced. Um, and, and the person who sponsors them does get that extra um, retail pay. So that gets money quick into somebody's pocket, which then again, they may stay around longer because they're actually making money and eventually get to building the business. So our hope is, is that with Gregory and Kai, David Jumper, some of the people who were on the comp plan committee and really have knowledge of this, we can get it to where all things are equal. But you have to look at your business and go with your upline and talk about what's best for your goals to figure out what to do. I mean, I have someone who's been in as a brand partner. She's put only, I've got a bunch actually. <laughs> I've got a bunch of brand partners who have only put customers in. You know what? It, it actually, for me, 
it's it, if you look at one side, I'm not getting paid as much that way. I don't get matching bonuses. I don't get as much cycling. But you know what? They've been around for four years because they're getting their product paid for. And does that four years compensate for somebody because they're getting their products paid for because they're getting retail pay? They have money sitting in there. I've gone back to them and said, you know how much money is sitting in your binary tree? All you got to do is put in some brand partners and they just don't want to. And that's OK. So the hope is moving forward, the hope and the pray. You guys can all send a lot of energy out for this. A lot of prayers that if all things are equal, people will choose. You will change the behavior of all the brand partners and people will choose to do what's right for the customer and the brand partner instead of choosing what's right for them. So we just got to get the compensation plan enhanced so that it matches. Um, but it's, it's an excellent question. And I think if you get with Helen and Robin and really sit down and discuss your business, I personally do have a combination of both, but I've also like you enrolled a lot of people. And so I can have a solid, solid brand partner business and have a solid customer business. You're going to have to enroll more people if, because in the beginning, you need those silvers to create structure in your business as a brand partner. And if you don't have those silvers, even if they're customers, just ordering like on maintenance kits or something like that, that helps you with your structure. And so right now through the end of the year and to whenever they make changes, it is critical that you have those in place. You would have never gotten to director if you didn't have that in place, that structure. Does that help anybody or does that just create confusion? <laughs> no, that helps. Um, it was just because it, this things were not adding up in my mind and I'm always doing what's best. My integrity is always what's best for mm -hmm. that person. And I know that I probably caught a, went up faster, but I didn't care about that. I wanted to exactly. have a solid foundation. Um, but then when I'm listening to the calls, which I know you like your calls, um, it all everyone just talks about that so I'm I'm like oh what am I supposed to am I not doing this right but I now I understand the structure was not set up compensation plan is potentially changing so you're just teaching what you know at this time so I get it yeah now we went down yeah we went down the other road and because it wasn't getting changed we had to shift because I had to help people get where they wanted to go. So that's a private, again, that's a private conversation with somebody. What do you want? Again, I have brand partners. All they put in is customers. Or maybe they put in all customers and they have just an, one on each side that's active to so they can at least cycle, right? They can at least get to that other money. Um, so you do you do have to do what's right, but you do what's right for each person. And that's probably a personal conversation with that person. Yeah. Okay. And Gregory, this is Liz. I just like to mention that on the uh, Live Younger Success uh, website under what's new, you have an excellent compensation plan training video that will help guide you and walk you through those aspects. And then also under the uh, business tab is the compensation plan. And in there, it also helps you walk through several videos. And, you know, do you, does your person want to be a customer? Do they want to be a brand partner? What's their goals? That helps with using the, the uh, get to know you form, which is also in there and in the uh, library resource area. So there's a lot of good things on how to build your business that you can learn from, you can stop and start the videos, go back to them, repeat them. And re, you know, sometimes it's, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So there's a wealth of knowledge and information that we have built out on the liveyoungersuccess.com website. And if you're looking Beautiful. for something, there's a search mechanism there. You can search and it will tell you where different things are at. Beautiful. Thank you, Liz. Jim, you had your hand up. Did your question get answered? Do you have something you wanted to share? I had a quick question. Um, and if someone has a LLC uh -huh. and they want to sign up 
under their LLC. And then they want to have their, uh, their partners that want to sign up under that. Is that possible through the company? Say that again. If I can answer signed. them. So, oh, okay, great. Go for it. Go um, so, yeah. So basically right now, if the way that, so yes, if you want to make your, if you want to make your, first of all, if you know you're going to put it under an LLC um, or an S corp or anything else, you want to do that if you can at the time of enrollment, because if you put your, you have to have your name on the enrollment, whoever is going to be the person who is listed on the IRS forms for that LLC or for that corporation, that is whose name has to be on the account. You can't have a doctor listed, let's say, on an LLC, but he makes the account under his uh, under his uh, manager's name or whatever. Does that make sense? The person to get paid, to have everything work right when you're um, getting your pay portal, whoever's name is on there must also be who is on the LLC form when you get your IRS docs because pay portal company is gonna ask for that. If you do it when you enroll them, it's easy peasy streamline, no problem. If you wanna add an LLC to an existing company, let's say you went in later and formed the LLC, and now you want to add it as a company name, you must go through compliance, which means you're going to have to download transfer of business forms, you're going to have to provide signatures, pictures, IDs, um, IRS forms through compliance, and then um, member successor compliance will determine if that can happen. So it's much more laborious if you yeah. go that way. I tell people what if you're going to know you're going to put it in a business, do it at the time of enrollment. Okay. I think he's yeah. also asking, though, if he could have multiple positions. And the answer is no. no. Company no. doesn't you, allow Lynn. that. No, it's not, not that. We have a, there's a store. And that store wants to sign up, you know, which is an LLC, sign up as a LLC. And then the different people working in the store would be sponsored under the store. That's yeah, that's perfect. Totally. That's perfect. Yeah. Sign up that sign store. Up in the beginning, like Connie said. Yep. Mm -hmm. It'll be yep. much easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Great. By Thank the you. way, one Appreciate point it. that I was thinking about, Ava Rose asking about missing out on the matching bonuses. That's only for personally sponsored uh, brand partners and then their personally sponsored brand partners. And it goes down a total of three levels of personally sponsored brand partners. It's not that you're losing out. It's that you've got customers. Okay. And unless the customers are brand partners or move into that role, you're not really missing out on anything. Great. Thank you. Great discussion, you guys. Great mm -hmm. questions. Who else has a question or comment about anything? We got a lot of a great conversation going on here. And, you know, when you enroll customers in our plan, the way it current it's currently set up, it's really difficult to predict your income by rank. The company has given us the ranges. But if someone says, I just want to get my product paid for, or I want to get my car payment, um, customers can, you can you can actually calculate that with customers <laughs> and, and which is the only way you can calculate your income um, currently. And it's very, you know, a lot of people like that. They say, okay, I need so many customers to get my mortgage paid. I need so many customers to get my car paid, whatever that may be. So um, yes. And Eva got your hand up again. Yes. Um, it was really great that Janet brought up um, a couple days ago when she was looking through um, her different customers and seeing someone that had like a large amount of volume on one side and bringing it th to their attention, um, mm -hmm. which I have done recently. And it just sparks something in somebody when they can see that. But I just wanted, before I actually really bring that to different um, customers, can I get that equation? So would it be that volume divided by 660 or 330? What was that equation? Yeah, let me address that. I'll take a shot at this. So um, if you've got a lot of volume on one leg, so let's say you have, you know, 6,660 points, okay? You could theoretically cycle um, 10 times. 
So that means every time you do 330 points over on your other side, you're going to pull 660 off that side. The good thing to say is when someone has a big leg that's accumulating volume, they are now going to make 15% on all their small leg volume. And that's a very predictable income. So every time somebody buys a sleeve of X39 for 77 points, they're going to make 15% on that, no matter how far down that other leg it is. So, you know, there is, uh, there is a motivating factor. If someone's got one leg accumulating volume, that they can start cashing in and making a predictable income by getting that small leg to catch up. Is that clear? Does that help? Yeah, it just created me to ask another question. So when they say, okay, I need to start building, say, my right leg because my left left leg is um, large, that uh -huh. they still need to be, like, knowing how many, um, say, silver packages they need on both legs to qualify. No, not for the binary. Uh, you, well, you know, you have a cap at, at, as a brand partner of one cycle, uh, uh, one binary cycle. When you get the manager, you can earn fifteen hundred dollars a week. So yeah, it, you know, if they got a lot of volume, they start working. They're going to want to get the manager. That takes some structure. But you know, for the most part, it's really just volume driven income. Once so, you've got that manager position well, locked in. So once they're manager, then they could just start building their their lesser leg. Keep building that. that yes. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, there's a balance. And, and I think, you know, uh, Robert and I are happy to do some offline coaching directly with you, Eve, on this. Take a look at your group and, and give you some better insight on it. But, you know, uh, I think when you do have someone, like you said, that you look at in your group and you find somebody's got one big leg to let them know, hey, you start building your other leg, you're going to make 15 percent on everything you do in your small leg until it catches up okay. which some people they'll never catch their big leg i mean it's just that's kind of everybody should pray for a runaway monster leg and you'll okay. probably get one in a binary <laughs> it, um, it just kind of happens and sometimes it's not the one you predicted because you never know uh where when it's going to happen and how but um so there's there's a balance to watching your balance how's that yeah and there's also <laughs> you know, the binary bonus, but we also need builders on both legs. So mm -hmm. when you're making decisions, and on this is where, you know, spending some time with you and your back office, we can take a look at that and I can explain things better, but there's many dimensions of things to look at. And when you're moving through the ranks, you want to work with your upline sponsor or mentors to really help you get where you want to go and take a look at your unique business. And so um, we thank you for bringing that up. And I look forward to looking at your back office with you, Eva. I and appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. So let's wait until we get home, but I'd love to do that. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> Victoria asked a question. How do you encourage a preferred customer to get them to brand partner? What has worked for you? Examples. So like Connie said, you know, it, and I'll just share what I do. And I always, you know, want what's best for them. And we've heard, you know, Eva talk about that and other people talk about that. And so we want to find out what do they want. And, and I, when I'm enrolling someone, they say, I'm ready to get started. I simply ask, is this for yourself or will you be sharing? I don't say, do you want to be a customer or a business builder? I don't even use that language. I just want to find out where they are and where they want to be. You know, would you like to get your product paid for? Are you interested? There are some people that do not want any additional income. They do not want to take care of a business. And, uh, you know, Jennifer Starr, I don't know if she's with us today, but her mother refers a lot of people, but she does, you know, she's in her, you know, late 80s. She doesn't want to be sitting down at the computer and taking care of people. So she sends them to Jennifer. So it's very individual on how that happens and i let people know the opportunity on both you know being a customer you can earn points and get your product paid for um, as a brand partner you can earn income and so i'm constantly asking what they want before i 
You know, I don't try to push anyone in any direction that is in my best interest. I want what's in their best interest. I hope that helps, Victoria. Okay, any other, uh, Liz, you got your hand up. One more point is that if you've got a big leg, when you enroll someone on your big leg, you're gonna get matching bonuses on them. So if they're in a position that they're gonna be able to build out a, a big business, it does not matter whether in some regards, whether they're on your big leg or your uh, pay leg, because matching bonuses are based on enrollment, not where they are in the binary. And thank you for sharing that, Liz. And people's businesses are one of three different things where their major income, some people's major income comes from, you know, the the customer bonus. Some comes from the matching bonus. Some comes from the binary bonus. And everybody's business has its own kind of structure and personality, so to speak. And ideally, you want to maximize all of them. But um, it is, you you start getting matching bonuses when you're a manager and above. And that's one of the main reasons to get to manager. Even if you're not building a serious business, you're leaving money on the table when you're not getting those matching bonuses by not being a manager. And that's very simply, you know, two personally sponsored silvers on each leg, you know, with a gold kit. And you can earn up to 1500 in the binary, but more importantly, or in addition, I should say, you get those matching bonuses. And like Liz said, the compensation, if you go to either the What's New or the Live Younger Success Under Business Basics in the comp plan, Gregory did a fabulous overview. And then all the tools are right there that he walks you through each one of them if you want to learn. So okay. we're almost to the top of the hour. Any more questions or suggestions? Good stuff, you guys. Good clarifying information for everybody. We okay. Love Just well, one more thing. You know, Connie's where the where's the juice back office training could be very helpful to people. So I put in the chat where they can find that. Thank you, Sunshower. And I just want to thank Sunshower. Did a beautiful job because it was a big training showing how to use three different reports. And Sunshower went in and did the video editing. So now it's, you know, an intro of it. It's four short little videos, an intro overviewing it, and then how to use three separate videos, how to use those three separate reports. So uh, it was a very juicy training. And thank you for segmenting it out a little bit for us, Sunshower. You're welcome. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, Maria mentioned, uh, can you repeat what you said about creating momentum and three stages of business growth? Yeah. One was stability. Yeah. The first one was establishing momentum. You want to get into momentum. It's like you're, you know, when you get runny, you want to get into your stride. When the popcorn's popping. Yeah. And then <laughs> step two is maintaining it. You want to keep your stride. You don't want to back off once you get it going. Okay. Uh, and, and number Three is how to advance it, you know, how to take it to the next level. So that's classically the three phases of momentum. And Carolyn, you got your hand up. Go ahead, please. See how you want to unmute? You having a hard time? Oh, there you go. Can okay. you hear me now? Thank you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in the merchandise store, the Thank white... You patch pouch for travel is no longer there does anyone know why we can't purchase that anymore what, what is not there it, that beautiful white 20 dollar pouch yeah. for putting the patches in it's like a little travel pouch huh um they're going through a lot of changes there we don't know um, okay I imagine we're going to learn about a lot of new things at the convention but I don't know the answer to that. And we can ask Garrett today. You like that, huh? Well, my brand partner called me and said, what happened to it? So oh. yes, it's a, it's a wonderful tool and a great gift. We'll find out. Thank Robin, you. is the patch uh, pouch that we had, uh, is that still available on the newsletter? 
links? Yeah. Yeah, you can contact uh, Jenny Thompson, and that's in the Facebook group. Uh -huh. I, should probably, I should probably give her a call and just get things updated to make sure. But we have two suggestions for patch protection, and one of them is uh, that I carry in my purse all the time as my first aid kit. It's a little, you know, credit card accordion file I get at Amazon, and it has spaces for every one of the patches. And I label them and I have it with me always because uh, I, I always want my first aid kit. And then we designed a one for full sleeves and it was custom made uh, for Live Younger by Jenny Thompson in Hawaii. So I need to be in touch and just confirm that those are still available, Liz. Okay. And I'm trying to Thank show you. it on my, there we go, on there my picture it, what it looks like. It is insulated on the inside. So um, you should yep. open and show you. Yeah, there's insulation mm -hmm. and it fits many, many sleeves, full sleeves of patches. So mm -hmm. when I travel, I carry both, you know, I don't, but day to day, I just put the little one in my purse. Okay. Great. Okay. I think we have Shall we call this call complete? I think so. <laughs> and um, we will not be here for the next two Thursdays. Yeah, but uh, the Thursday, okay, so Thursday calls, calls will, will be happening. We've got uh, some great leaders and some great topics the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. We got that set up yesterday. We're so grateful for the leadership in our Live Younger community just stepping in for us. And we'll be kind of checking in. Uh, we'll be with you on Monday night. And then the next Monday night, we'll <laughs> be with you from uh, somewhere in the middle of the Mediterranean. <laughs> How fun that'll be. All right, everyone. Love you, you all. Have a beautiful day, a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Thanks all for right. Have a great Tuesday. Hi, thank you. Oh, wonderful education. Thank you. Great thank you. questions. Amazing thank you. experiences. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Energy. Good Bye. 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 Thanks for the information. Okay. Life changing. Appreciate Janet. Too. Mm -hmm. Great call.